This is the Geekcom A8, the most advanced and most powerful next-gen AI mini computer to date from Geekcom. A 4 nanometers CPU, extremely power efficient while delivering top tier performance on all levels, no matter the computing scenario. It features the 45 watts AMD Hawkpoint Ryzen processor series combined with the most powerful iGPU to date, the Radeon 780M, DirectX 12 Ultimate, hardware ray tracing, variable ray shading, just to name a few things that are now possible with this system. Not to forget dual channel 32 gigs DDR5 RAM. You can expand it up to 64 gigs, by the way, plus a one terabyte SSD integrated. And you can also insert a card with up to two terabytes to expand the storage even more. Tons of ports, Wi-Fi 6E as well as Bluetooth 5.2 straight out of the box. So all in all, an absolute monster of a computer and you would not expect the raw power that it delivers from just this extremely tiny form factor. It's crazy, right? But is it actually as good as it sounds? Let's find out. Got the new drip from Geekcom, the A8 Next Gen AI PC. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals for you. Yeah, now let's check it out. So here we have the box, premium PC, premium box. As the other one, Steve already did the unboxing, so the wrap is already gone. But check out this awesome top, smooth to the touch and shiny as well as the sides with the shiny leather, Skicom A8, small print on the bottom, nice little cutouts. I wish all these boxes had them because this way you can take it apart faster. So great box all in all. And here we have it, extreme power while still being at the same palm sized form factor absolutely crazy we have the paperwork in here a divider and well actually another divider and the power brick as well as the mounting hardware backplate screws and an hdmi cable as well so let's get to it straight away so again, the backplate for screwing onto a onto the back of a screen for example as we know it same design. We have the screws for it, regular HDMI to HDMI cable. We have all the paperwork inside this envelope. So we have a thank you letter with all the socials on the back. And here we have the manual. And these are the A series. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rest is multi-language safety warnings. And the last page right there. Nice manual. And lastly, we have the brick. We will get a power cable like this one. That's what it looks like with the plug right there. And the brick with the connector to the computer looks like that. And on the back, we of course have all the specs. So to recap, power equipment, HDMI cable, backplate and manual. Done with the unboxing. Let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So there we have it, absolutely mind blowing that the form factor is still the same while delivering quite a lot of <laughs> more power. The design is slightly different from the others. I really like it. As you can see, it now has this roundness to it, to the bottom. That's better for cooling, I guess. But other than that, the rest looks pretty much the same. Nice buttons. All right, let's take a close look. So we have the silver model with the silver shiny letters on top. It's silver white-ish the color. We have the USB ports aux jack as well as the on off button on the front. Really cool button. On this side we have the expansion slot up to two terabytes. On the other side we have just the cooling holes and on the back we have the main cooling outlet right there. Power two times USB-C, two times USB-A, Ethernet and two times HDMI so up to four monitors with this one as we know it. And on the bottom we have the rubber feet, the small print and the screws for the bracket. Looks awesome. Not bad, right? So let's set it all up and then of course test it. So here we go. I have it right next to the XT12 Pro, which I'm using on a daily because I only have one work PC and this PC needs to be pristine. So I'm using this one for all other tasks that could be considered dangerous, you know, you know what I mean. So many use cases with these little guys, I love it. So I have this one all set up. We can see the CPU. This is such a beast, 780M graphics. We have the RAM, 36 gigs, absolutely insane. And when Steven did his tests, he was testing Counter-Strike, Dota 2, Pal World, all sorts of games, even PUBG and GTA. And he even tried editing a massive 4K video on it, which was no problem. I already tested this with the previous versions, which also worked surprisingly well. And now this one, the strongest one up to date, it of course can handle all of that without any issues whatsoever. 
And like all the Geekcom PCs, it of course can handle four screens. We have 4K screens right here, one 2K screen right here. No problem whatsoever. Stunning 4K image resolution without affecting the performance too much. But since this one is more powerful, I had an idea. Not sure if this is possible, but let's try. Okay, it's actually working. So this <laughs> PC is also powerful enough of course, to run an emulator. And right there, that's a new add-on. And now you will understand why I have the controller. Look how smooth it is, wow. Okay, so we have the 4K playbacks in the back. We have the emulator in the front. Absolutely mind-blowing, it's insane. And this would be an epic dedicated emulator computer that you can mount at the back of your bedroom TV, for example, and then you can just play all your emulator games. How did this work? Oh, yeah, oh my God. Yeah, you get the point. It is so powerful. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Let's shred this space pirate right there. Now you can hear it. Now you can hear it. So I'm assuming this is what it sounds like under full load. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I have to say I'm absolutely impressed. So yeah, surprising results and it didn't even put a dent in the performance. Of course, the cooling is now definitely needed with all this workload, but I am extremely impressed, especially how smoothly it handled the emulator plus dual 4K playback, just insane. So yeah, massive, massive thumbs up from my side. This can replace a gaming PC easily, talking mid-tier gaming PC, which is absolutely insane. So as you saw, this right here is the cutting edge when it gets to super compact form factor mini computers with just a top tier hardware specs. This is the most powerful mini computer that I've ever seen while still being at the same size as all the other Geekcom computers. It's so small. How is this possible? It's crazy crazy. And of course, especially compared to a regular tower PC, the size difference is just out of this world. But this thing easily rivals established tower builds. This little thing right here replaces a full-size gaming PC. Incredible. Super fast RAM. Huge ROM. Strong cooling while still being silent even while gaming. Just a clear 10 out of 10 if you ask me. It can handle the heaviest of workloads without any issues. So this is easily capable of being a dedicated gaming station as well. It's just awesome. Love the design as well as the build quality. Slightly improved design even. Really cool to see. You will also get three years of warranty. And with the huge array of ports as well as connectivity options, this machine is just super versatile. So all in all, the new A8 system is definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.